It's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Fucking Americans, bro. Who makes that shit? Friday, Friday. How was this famous 10 years ago? Who makes this shit? Fucking white girls. Go back to England. That looks like Luciano Greco's sister. Greatest deck you will ever see. I don't care what anyone has to say. This deck's insane. Whether you go first or second, it's literally an auto win. I just skipped my fucking exit. Friday, Friday. You've seen the five negates. It's unbeatable. It's unbeatable. What do you get when you get the greatest mind? The greatest mind to ever grace Yu-Gi-Oh history. Add that with, combine that with the greatest boss monster in Yu-Gi-Oh history. Add in one of the best turbo engines and dangers of all time. Change that with one of the greatest splashable engines in history. Orcust is a better splashable engine than Zodiac. Orcust is the best splashable engine I have ever seen in my life. I don't care if you play light decks or dark decks or any deck. I don't care. It's simply the best. Thank you. Pen God blesses you. It's the best deck. Party in, party in, yeah. Dino's best deck after Pendulum. So the game plan is very, very simple with this deck. Extremely simple. You have 15 ways into Evolution Pill. Uh, 13 ways into Quadalus and 15 into Evolution Pill. How? Uh, you got Armageddon Knight Grapher. That's two, right? You got the Rota to get that. Three. You got three Ovi Raptors, three Fossil Digs. That's... Nine in total. Three Quadalus 12. Foolish 13. The point is send Quadalus to grave. Send Quadalus to grave dot deck. That's the whole game plan. 13 plus the two evolution pills in itself. These 15 is you gotta they're so powerful. You get a free conductor. It's absolutely insane. You have 17 ways into conductor, 15 ways into evolution pill. That's absolutely insane in a 60 card deck with 30 cards being draw one. You end up 15 ways, like one in every two cards is an evolution pill. And that's not where the deck ends. Typical dinos end on maybe a Lagia and a Conductor. That's it. That's not where this ends. Like a rank four, no way. That's not where this ends. Where this ends, it keeps going. The Orcus of PKs in the deck lets you go forever. It lets you keep pushing. So the game plan, the 21 dangers, just puts one monster on board. Get one of your ways to go into Conductor, which you're going to have. There's 17 ways right there. And it ends up on a board of that you just saw. The same board of uh, Quadalus or Conductor, whatever you want. Uh, through any brick hand. Like that was, we opened the hand we, you guys saw. Had zero dangers. Zero. You just need one danger to put a free monster on board. That's the whole plan. And, if, and what are you going to ash? The Evolution Pill or the Orcus Combo? You're going to get a Rusty up regardless. A Rusty is going on board regardless with a danger in hand. So you're going to have, like, what are you ashing? What are you impermanencing? People will say, the, oh, or beating Orcus is easy. You just ash the mermaid. Sure. So are you not going to ash my Oviraptor? Are you not ashing my Evolution Pill? What are you ashing here? What are you interrupting here? There's nothing to interrupt. You, you can't stop it. There, you absolutely can't stop it. Let's say uh, someone dwellers, uh, or it's not playing Orcus, right? PK Orcus, someone dwellers me. No problem, bro. I'm going to clear your Salaman shit board. And then Oviraptor is going to... Oviraptor, all you need is three dinos to summon a conductor. So... Ovi Raptor equal two, two of them because Ovi Raptor search conductor. All you need now is to get one of your other 15 dinos and discard it with a nightmare card, and then you have two dinos in grave because Ovi Raptor search conductor, add any get any dino in your hand easily, discard that as well from nightmare. Uh, the normal summon Ovi Raptor and the second dinosaur is two. You get after you clear the board, you get a free conductor after they dwell and with a graveyard of like 10 grave effects, and then next turn you destroy them with your stacked ass graveyard. So uh, this gives you a whole new idea and look to the deck that before Danger Orcas couldn't give you without Dinos. Dinos are absolutely insane. So the game plan, like I said, uh, preferably get Qualus in hand, nine of them. Discard it with the Danger for more pluses. Get the Evolution Pill. Do the whole combo with the Orcas that you guys saw. And then after you get with the one Evolution Pill, uh, everything you send afterwards with, uh, you got seven Destrudos. So I'm going to get Knight, Grapher, Rota, that's three, six Destrudos, and a Foolish. That's seven ways to get Destrudo Engrave. And that gives you a Boral Savage as well. We, I couldn't put it up because I used the Sudo for the combo. But that was... You have 5, 6, and 8 easily. Uh, next, uh, one Mirror Mirror, obviously. Uh, I wanted to play more Dangers, by the way, but 21 is fine. 
21 Savage. Uh, just perfect number, 21. I find uh, the Thunderbird and the Bigfoot are relevant because you discard it with the Nightmares. You always want uh, singular pops. I don't know why people don't play them. They're actually really, really good. Uh, especially because you're playing with the Orca Engine is really good. If you're playing just Danger, like Thunder, or Danger Thunder, then don't you don't need to play the uh, Thunderbird and the Bigfoot. Uh, but if you're playing an Orca's build where you're going to multiple Nightmares in, in your turn, uh, you should be playing Bigfoots and Thunderbirds because it clears boards easily. Uh, like Phoenix pop one, Bird pop one, you're good. I really want to see them going second. Uh, the o minimal Orca's Engine, just the five plus Orchestrated Return, minimal because you don't want to draw. You want to go into it with the combo. Minimal PK engine, just a boost cloak and double fog blade. I prefer this much over Azatha because going second, the fog blades are extremely relevant and cloak giving you a free boots. The Orca's engine gives you a free level three if you really want at the end with uh, skeleton. So skeleton and uh, cloak adding boots from the PK play gives you a free break sword and break sword will pop uh, two cards. Like it itself will pop one, Rusty will pop one. Then you're gonna pop the fog blade and fog blade will bring back the uh, the boots for another play like. Another card on board. So I just love the utility of both first and second. Three Allure to go through your deck. And then what people don't play is Metaphor Fusion. I don't understand. Any Orcas deck should play Metaphor Fusion. Absolutely 1000% without a doubt in my mind. Uh, it's, I, I want to play three of them. Not just because it's a Metaphor card. Shout out my Electrum. The best card in the game. Shout out my Electrum playmat. Link in the description below. Go get it. Uh, just simply because it's an incredible, incredible card. It's absolutely insane. Uh, half your deck is going to discard it. Uh, you're going to a, you're going into a nightmare regardless. You're going into a nightmare regardless, regardless of anything. You're going into a nightmare no matter what your opponent does or no matter what hand trap he has. Uh, no matter what, you're going into a nightmare. Maybe they have even if they have three hand traps, you're still going into nightmares. They're gonna stop the nightmare, but you're still going into it. You're still discarding for cost. So Metalfall Fusion is by far the best card to discard. It never bricks ever. That's why I want to play three. You want to see as much of it as possible. Uh, it's just so good. It's like. It's, it's literally, imagine imagine the situation. You look at your hand. You have bunch, some dangers, which you're going to have dangers. Even if you have, let's say, two Metal Fall Fusion, two Dino cards, and one danger. Danger summons itself. Even if you discard something that's not the Metal Fall Fusion, that's fine. No more the Dino. Uh, go into a Nightmare card. Get pluses from the Dino. Get Evolution Pill. And then Nightmare Phoenix. Pop a back row. Discard Fusion. Get your draw. And the whole deck, the point of it is to draw into everything. There's so much draw power in this deck. With all the dinos, you're, every turn you're going to have 21 dangers. Sorry, not dinos, dangers. 21 dangers and orchestrated return drawing two. Uh, so you're going to draw two every turn from orchestrated return. You're going to draw a card two every turn from the dangers. You're going to draw one or two from the nightmare cards linking itself. For allures, metaphor fusions, you're drawing into absolutely everything in your deck that you want. That's why it's so damn broken. And lastly, some extenders is a reborn and double world legacy succession. Succession is busted. Uh, these allow you, you play nine normal summons in the deck, so it allows you to freely, you uh, you want the normal summon at the end of your combo, so they don't, uh, after you pop all their interruptions. So the reborn cards simply allow you, uh, like a pseudo, another normal summon. So if you discard Obi Raptor, you just special summon it, and it's just so damn powerful. And Armageddon Knight and Graffers aren't once per turn, so uh, I don't know about Graffers. Yeah, they're, they're not a hard once per turn, so you could always use their effects, especially Armageddon Knight, as many times as you want by reborning them. Uh, so the deck's insane. I wouldn't change anything right now. Uh, if you wanted to cut it to 40, I would simply take out maybe six to seven dangers, a few dino cards, a few draw cards, and the reborn cards. But just amazing like this. You want to make it 60 so you don't draw the mirror, mirror. You don't draw the evolution pill by itself. Even though drawing it by itself is fine, you're always going to draw a dino. You don't want to draw the Orcas cards. You don't want to draw the PK cards. Like, they're still good to draw. They're still good to draw, but the best hands are just dangers and dinos. That's the best hands with spell cards. And you want to like kind of go into the PKs and the Orcas through the combo. But if you draw them, it doesn't matter at all. It just makes it easier, even easier. They're pluses, right? Side deck, triple reboot, triple Denko. Six auto wins against Salaman Greats. Uh, three, six Kaijus, which are auto wins against... Uh, Denko also auto win against Strikers. So it's nine auto wins against Strikers. Six auto wins against Salaman Greats. Again, you don't need to side. You auto win against anything anyways. And then uh, typically just nine for back row decks here. Done the rest as well. Nine for monster decks. It's the best side deck in the game right now. And you're always going for OTK going second. So going first, you go five negates. Going second, you OTK the life out of them. Uh, after you clear their entire board with Nightmares, Thunderbirds, Bigfoots, uh, Mermaids, they're going to ash everything. Then you go into the Dino combos and just obliterate them and just cuck them. Uh, also, something that people don't realize that it's a really good thing to do is Obi Raptor sent Quadalus Evolution Pill right off the bat. And if they don't have Ash, they can't stop it. Uh, you get a Quadalus to stop like if they set Rage instead of Roar. 
or if they don't like whatever the counter trap is, if they don't set the counter trap and they have the other one, you get Quadalus out ASAP. So uh, bring up Quadalus ASAP, you uh, stop that, and your whole plays are free to go. Uh, so it's absolutely insane. Uh, extra deck, uh, Mermaid, Phoenix, Cerberus, Unicorn, Galatea, Sorceress, Rusty, non debatable. All those, Borload is the only one you could take out that's debatable. Boral Sword, Link Karibo, Brio, Yazi, Boral Savage, all those are incredibly important. Most of the turns you're going to end up on Evil Storm Nightmare, Evil Storm Nightmare, Quadalist, 2 Fog Blade, and then if you draw into the Destrudo, you also have an Boral Savage as well. Evil Storm Nightmare counts 2 Negates, it absolutely shuts down Solomon Grates and everything else. One Break Sword going second, it, or it's amazing. So good because Harp, uh, Horror, you could bring a Harp Horror or the Skeleton. So if you have access to the Break Sword, you bring out Skeleton and Boots because Cloak adds Boots to hand from Rusty's effect. Break Sword popping a card, Rusty popping a card, and then the Fog Blade Special Summoning uh, back the Boots. So you just more fodder. And then you go into Boral Sword after all, popping all this stuff for free. And it's so good against Silent Magrades because you they have so many monsters. They put it on field, you just keep popping everything. And then Evil Storm Nightmare is the best interruption in the game right now. Everyone's playing Solomon Great. And Boral Load is the only other card I might take out. Uh, I was debating playing around throwing Shadals in here as well, but there's not enough space. The deck's amazing as it is. I was even debating playing Lagia. Playing uh, the other card you might want to play is uh, Gilosaurus, which is a free uh, card. Uh, Over Raptor, if, if, if you already have access to a Quadalus, uh, Over Raptor can search uh, Gilosaurus and end up with a free two monsters on field. Uh, give you a whole combo just like that for free. And another thing I was debating, Miscellaneous, you even Giant Rex, but there's really no space and no need for them because it's already auto win when you resolve it. So that's the deck, guys. It's absolutely insane. Like, this is not no clickbait video. This is really the best deck in the game right now. I'm going to do more videos in the future destroying boards. It's even better going second than going first. Uh, like, look at it. It just all Danger Orcus uh, obliterates people going second. And the Fog Blades and uh, uh, the Phantom Knights are amazing going second. I don't care what anyone says. I'm not signing them out going second. Uh, if anything, you want to sign them in going second. They're absolutely amazing going second. And it uh, gives you a backup after you clear the entire board to go double Fog Blade. Uh, so the deck's insane. I can't say enough amazing words about it. I brought back Dinos. Just as I said, uh, they're not going to call me Dino God. Dino God. Dino Pen God. Pen Dino God. Pen God Dino God. I, I don't know. Call me Connor because I got the both belts. Uh, that's the deck, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my beautiful trick game playmat in the description below. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see another Dino deck. Uh, call it Dino. A lot of people say Dino Dick. You know how I hear that? Dino Doc is what you're going to call it from now on. Dino Danger Orcus PK. Danger. Best deck in the game. See you guys in the next video. Peace. That's the video, guys. I hope you guys like it. Buddy, there's literally a mountain of snow in my driveway. The snow is almost as tall as my door.